Wow, DAX, or your use of DAX, just got way easier thanks to this new button, new calculations. For example, here's three categories with my units, and I've now got a cumulative total, and a difference, and a percentage of grand total, and it's super simple, no complicated DAX, thanks to this button. Okay, so check it out. Let me show you how it works. It's called visual level calculations. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a visual, just a normal one. I'm gonna click the new button. Okay, I've got a normal little measure in there. Units is just a standard sum of a units column. Okay, and then check this out. Okay, we've got calculation equals. So if you click on this little FX button, you've got things like running sum percentage of grand total, versus last, versus previous. All right, this is awesome. So running sum, um, and you can obviously change the name of this to, I'll change it to cumulative, equals the running sum of the units. All right, it's so referring to that column name. Press enter, and there we go. How easy is that? So this isn't a, a date field or anything, this is just categories, a running total. And, and if I pop this visualization panel out, here's the new formula here. And if I click on it, the formula pops back up. Okay, which is awesome. And then I could just go uh, FX, or I'll just click the tick and just say uh, diff equals, and you can refer to these columns, square bracket units minus square bracket cumulative. That doesn't really make sense as a calculation, but I just wanna show you. Yeah, you can do that, which is awesome. Uh, you can do percentage of total. So units as a percentage of total. So I can go uh, percentage of grand total equals divide. And it gives you the little fields here. So this field is going to be units. Okay. The total field, again, is the units. And this axis is either you want to do a percentage if you're looking at a, like a matrix visual, you're looking at the rows or the columns. So the axis, you change the word rows and you get this double headed arrow for rows. So on a row by row basis, press enter. And there we go. Okay, which is pretty cool. Now, it, as of now, and check out the uh, description whether this changes, but as of now, there's no formatting option. So what I'm going to do is use sort of DAX. This actually turns this result into text, so you can't then use it in another column as a, as a value. Um, so I'm, I'm assuming they're going to fix this soon, um, and I'll format that with double quotes, hash, comma, that's for thousands, not likely to be thousands of percentages, hash zero uh, percent, and I'm never going to have a negative percent, so I won't bother with this one. And I'll just close the bracket. Okay. And there we go. And maybe I don't want that 100% showing. So I'm going to go back in here. And you can write, you know, it's like your normal DAX. You can still do stuff like if is in scope, which, you know, if the um, tariff band, okay, is in scope, then do the calculation. And then at the end, you say, if it's not in scope, okay. We'll just return a blank to get rid of it. Okay, that sort of thing. Um, but the simplicity of the basic feeder measures is awesome. All right, let's check out a couple more. So here, if I go here, and I've got another one ahead. So this sort of thing, um, we've got quarters. All right, and let me show you the, the calculations that I wrote down here. I can right click and say edit calculation. And that takes you back into this screen. And this works with charts. It's not just matrix and tables, you, a chart visual. Under the hood, it's just a table of data. So this screen pops up and the chart will display at the top. So my cumulative is just my running sum, okay? This one was for usage and kilowatt hours rather than units. Um, versus prior month. Let's have a look what I did for that one. So again, I wrapped it in a format. Um, let me just open this up. And it was just basically this 
the usage minus the previous usage. So all it does is take this value minus the previous one, yeah, on a row by row basis, which is just pretty cool. So again, you could just go uh, FX, or actually go tick, start a new one, and you can say versus first versus previous. And it just puts the little placeholders in for you, which is really cool, okay? And, you know, the nice thing is, is as well, you, you sort of, you can hide the columns that you don't want to show. So you can have helper columns, but then hide them. Um, so once they're over here, so let me go back, hide. You can hide these. So I could hide one of these. You do have to go a bit weird. You have to go into edit calculation and then in edit mode, you see the little eyes light up. So I could hide these. And notice when I do it, they don't disappear from the calculation section. They're still there, they're still necessary, you know, maybe for later calculations, but you'll just see them disappear from this table at the top as I hide them. So you can have helper queries. And in terms of things like running sums and stuff, let me show you this one more, just to finish off here. You know, this is all new. I'm gonna be learning about how these work better and I'm sure they'll advance. You have to turn them on under preview features. So you've got to go into file, options and settings, options, and it's a preview feature that you have to turn on. Okay, and then in here, um, if I go into new calc, or just simply click on one of the existing ones that I've got, okay, this is a running sum, but in columns, okay, and you can see, what I started with, let me just show you how I wrote that one. I started with this sort of matrix, and let me show you, I just put my units in there. You know, that was my base measure or my usage kilowatt hour measure. That was my base. And then I just said FX running sum, okay? And I wanted it based on the usage kilowatt hours, for example, comma, and this time columns. Sorry about the zoom, but you see the columns all right, and there's more options in there as well. So now I've got my running sum, and there's my running sum, but I don't want to see the units, so I have to hide it. Now, just one little thing to be aware of, you know, this is per the visual. So you'll see the running sum in December is 778, okay? Now, I'm just gonna pop out this filter panel. So remember, December is 778. And if I go to my months and I deselect January, my numbers now drop to 762. So January, if we look back, was 16. So 778 minus 16 is 762. So it's actually showing you the running total of the numbers that are in the visual. So it's different to the DAX concept of a total year to date type calculation, which doesn't really care about what the other context is in inside the visual. So just keep that in mind. All right, let me know what you think. I think this is going to make DAX a lot easier for a lot of people. Let me know your comments. Honestly, please check out the description because things are going to change and I'll try and update it with, you know, updates and what's changed since the last time I did this video. So check out the description as well. All right, catch you in the next video.